So is there any questions? idea for the film? Well, um, we did a short exercise during one of our classes to write up short stories and um, I actually wrote the initial idea for this and we decided to um, work off that for our film. Um, when the man said that like nobody leaves I thought that maybe you could have done like a close-up of his face and maybe build it out a bit longer just to build some more suspense and just to make it a bit more obvious and like noticeable, a bit more dramatic maybe. Thank you. Um, no, we did actually have some problems with that actor. See, um, I don't know if I should actually say this or not, but when he arrived, he didn't actually know that he had to learn his lines. So <laughs> we had to... <laughs> work from basics really so it's kind of hard to work with him. It was actually quite a funny story because um, me and Morgan like arrived quite early and he was there and he just walked in like strutted in. We were like oh how many films have you been in? And he was like oh this is my first film. We were like, oh. <laughs> it's quite annoying. <laughs> done this film, would there be anything that you would have done differently? Okay. I was just going to say, for old fogies like me, you could have done something from Hotel California, like, you can check out any time you like, but you can never leave. Did you uh, understand the underlying theme Yeah, they're nodding. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, sorry. Um, I think it would have been better if you could have had like an outfit for the bell bellboy. Um, just like I know you just said you had a problem like with him learning his lines or whatever, but it just oh, was that a different person? My bad. <laughs> <laughs> but like. Yeah, I think it would have been easier to understand the concept of who his character if you had an outfit for him. Well, the, the thing with that was originally we were going to have another actor and he had the bellboy costume that he was going to bring and then unfortunately he had a bit of a family crisis so he couldn't make it. So we had to get another a actor on short notice and obviously we didn't have a bellboy costume so we had to make do. We sort of went... From there, we went with the premise that he's there on work experience. And when you normally, like if you're in school and you don't, and you go on work experience, you don't get uniforms. You wear your own clothes, and the fact that he's stuck there, so he didn't have any other clothes, so we tried to work from that, basically. I thought the guy behind the uh, hotel desk was very good. But the old man, I think he was reading his lines from the newspaper, I think. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, he was. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, most of the shots we had with him, you could actually see the newspaper just dropping down very slowly. We had to keep, just keep on cutting. It's like, no, nope, keep the newspaper up. <laughs> I think I shouted at him a couple of times because like, he was just going down like this really slowly. You could actually <laughs> see like, the piece of paper that he was reading. Off. It was annoying. <laughs> Trials and tribulations. Um, any other comments? Do you have any other questions, guys? Mm. Which one do I need to tell? Just pick one. <laughs> <laughs> Just pick one. Uh, do you think the music was good and what bits do you like? I suppose. Fairly open ended, but. <coughs> Anybody? I um, really like the use of the. Oh, I'm <laughs> um, <laughs> I really the, uh, no, 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 no. <clears throat> I really like the use of black and white now. How did you come about deciding that? Well, we wanted a way to distinguish between the present and the past. And originally we were going to have it in sepia, 
but it didn't look quite right for the hotel and the lighting, so we decided to do it in black and white instead. Okay, are we done here? Well done, good work. Thank you.